Welcome to our second video of our, <clears throat> sorry about that, um, fifth unit of general chem. This is our gases unit. This one's talking about pressure. We're going to learn all the different pressure units that we're commonly using. There are quite a few, but they're pretty doable. So pressure, first off, let me tell you what it is. It's defined as the amount of force um, exerted per unit of surface area. It's basically, instead of thinking of force, um, which I know we don't normally think of force, but as like you're exerting stuff in one direction, pressure thinks of it more as a lot of stuff exerted kind of over a general area. So it's, it's like, you know, pressure all around you. It's force surrounding you, if you will. So the SI unit for pressure is the Pascal. And the definition of that is the force of one Newton SI unit for force over the distance of one square meter, which is the SI unit for length. So it's just kind of cool that Pascal is basically equal to one um, Newton over a square meter. And it's just kind of cool that both the Newton and the meter are SI units and the Pascal is an SI unit. So it's an SI unit of SI units. Um, really, you don't need to remember that. Um, it'll help you in life, but main thing I'm going to at least be asking you for is just what is the SI unit for pressure, and you're going to have to tell me the Pascal. So, there you go. So, on measuring pressure, our most common unit is the atmosphere. Now, I know that's not the SI unit. SIs aren't always popular. They're just the standard of what a group of French people said. Um, the most common unit is the atmosphere. That is representing the average pressure at sea level. But there are many other units. So the following basically is a list of all our common pressure units. That number next to them represents how many of those are in one ATM. So 760 millimeters of mercury commonly millimeters of HG. Please keep in mind that mercury is not capital M, it is HG. Anyways, 760 of those is one ATM, or 760 towards one ATM, or 101,325 Pascal. Yes, all those numbers are important. Equal one ATM. Uh, in America, we use a lot of, um, not pounders, well, it's pounds per square inch. Sorry about that. Um, we use pounds per square inch for our tires. Commonly, we just call that PSI. 14.7 PSI is equal to 1 ATM. So, those are quite important. Do note that 760 is the same number. These three have the same number. The decimal just moves places. 29.9 is kind of random, but you won't use it a lot. And 14.7 is kind of random, but you won't use it a lot. Um, main ones that you need to know are going to be ATM, millimeters of mercury, Tor, Pascal, and kilopascal. Okay, the other three are great. They'll probably show up in like one homework problem. Most of the time, though, just those top five. So, there you go. All right, let's do some practice. Um, a lot of your pressure units will involve converting between other units. So, here you go. How many Tor are in 49 bar? Um... I'm actually going to say pause this video, go and try it for a bit. Um, I think you can figure it out. It is just train track. You got this. So come back in a bit. Okay. Welcome back. Let's do this. 49 bar. I've got a different stylus, so I'm sorry if it looks a bit different than normal. We're going to tour. Coming from bar. And on that previous chart, since those numbers represent um, how much of those are equal to one ATM, they also represent their equality to each other. That means that 760 Tor are equal to 1.01325 bar. So multiply the top, multiply the bottom, then you get... 
36,753 Tor. That's it. That's all pressure units are. It's just memorizing those numbers and placing them where they go. There you go. All right, here's another one. If you didn't practice the first one, stop now. Try this one. Um, I'll wait a bit in case you need to stop. All right, let's go. 900 Tor. We're going to PSI. Coming from Tor. We have 760 Tor and 14.7 PSI. Put that in your cal calculator and you get 17.41 PSI. There you go. That's your answer. All right, last one. Um, go ahead and try it and then come back. Okay, here you go. 79 KPA. That was an annoying stylus. Go into ATM. One ATM and one zero one point three two five KPA. Plug that in your calculator and you get 0 0.78 ATM. There you go. So, because we have so many different pressure units, scientists tend to measure and report their findings in the same standard conditions. And we call that standard temperature and pressure. Okay, commonly though, we just call that STP. That occurs at 273 Kelvin and 1 ATM. Yes, you will need to know that. Yes, that will probably be on your test. And yes, this is extremely useful for the other coming units. So, let's get some practice. How many tor are equivalent to the pressure a gas has at STP? Well, as usual, I'm going to let you try this first. So, go ahead and pause and try all you wish. Okay, welcome back. So, STP represents um, an actual set number of pressure. I know they don't give you a, a number, but STP refers to a number, so they kind of did actually give you a number. STP refers to 1 ATM. If they're asking for TOR, that means we're going to get 760 TOR. I don't even need, need to set up train track because... Well, the list I gave you is all defined for 1 ATM. That's our video on pressure. Again, get those numbers memorized, and then converting pressure units is not hard at all. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Or night if you're watching this at night. So, see you.